the assistant professor department of chemistry ksr college of arts and science for women trichangur in this video we are going to see the topic of green chemistry which is given in the fifth unit of the organic club let's see what is meant by green chemistry the green chemistry is the design of chemical product and a process that have to reduce or eliminate the generations of the uh, hazardous product the green chemistry is is always used to do reducing the waste material hazards risk energy and the cost why do we need a green chemistry the green chemistry is undeniably very very important part of our daily life because uh, we are using uh, so many product that are fully based on the chemical substances the chemical development is also bring a new environmental problems and a harmful and a unexpected side effect so to avoid these uh, side effects we uh, choose the greener or safer chemical product the green chemistry is a look at the uh, pollution prevention that means uh, for selecting of uh, chemical process and uh, selecting of uh, safer chemicals and uh, selecting of a uh, safer solvent we uh, we have to minimize the pollution of our environment the green chemistry program is always to support the invention of more environmentally friendly and eco friendly chemical process which is reduces or even eliminate the generations of the hazardous product so this uh, green chemistry is a program so sir work under the basic of uh, 12 principles let's see one by one the first principle of green chemistry is the prevention of waste or the by product once we buy the product means after usage we just throw it in the environment without uh, without any alteration so it's automatically lead the environmental pollution so the basic principle of green chemistry is just to prevention of the waste or the by product the second principle is atom economy the atom economy is to describe the conversions efficiency of the chemical process in terms of all atoms involved the third principle is minimization of a hazardous product whenever practical the synthetic matter should be designed to use and generate the substance that possess the little or no toxicity to the people for the environment that means we choose the chemical process or design the chemical process to produce the less or no toxicity product like that way you have to choose the chemical process the designing of semi came uh, safer chemicals uh, not only for selecting a chemical process and also for the chemical you must select the safer chemicals that is a very very essential for uh, our life designing a safer chemical instead of using a uh, synthetic chemicals is better you have to go for the natural products not only for choosing a chemicals and a chemical process you also very very careful for selecting the solvent and accelerators because the solvent and accelerators are very play the very important role in the productions so uh, for using a solvent and accelerators you must be very careful that should be a very safer one design for energy efficiency the, that is the sixth principle of green chemistry uh, so for the some chemical reactions we need a uh, more energy it may be a thermal or the electrical energy so if you are using uh, too much of energy means that is economically uh, we are very loss so uh, to avoid this we have to choose the environment we have to choose the very very less energy process for making a product the seventh basic principle is that is a use of renewable feeds feed stock every time we are going for by uh, going for buy a new things as means it's a lead a cost so instead of that we use the raw material feed stock that can be renewable one means that is a very helpful for us reduce the derivatives so uh, during uh, for the chemical process we are going to prepare one product as a main means automatically some other side products as so you have that is said to be a derivative to avoid the formations of the derivative uh, or to minimize the formations of the derivative if the derivatives are formed as it is means it's a leader uh, it's a uh, it's, it causes the um, uh, we need a more additional reagent generate the more waste product and the time consumption is waste and high 
cost of the product to to avoid this uh, better you can reduces the derivative formations in the chemical process how to reduce the formations of the derivative means and the, during the process we choose the suitable catalyst for making the product formation the best example for this the the toluene is converted into paraxylene for this conversion we choose the zeolite as the catalyst means it is a selective one uh, so it give a only one product that is a paraxylene designing of a degrading product that means uh, when you uh, prepared the product means that should be a degradable one it, the degradable one means it's uh, not lead any environmental pollution so it's not lead any health hazards to the uh, people so, so uh, always design the process for productions of the degrading product thank you